Well, guys, um, well, I got a new video about me reading my second novel. I wrote. I'm gonna read the first three or four pages it's called Golden Games. I described it earlier. It's partly based on the world ends with you that the ice came and saw in combination. Now, here we go, guys. I'm about to. What you Sweet. Damn, was a good fucking head. Oh my god. That's the rest of them, man. I got a positive pause. Let me start reading. Hold on. Alright, guys, here it is, guys. I'm reading probably the first two pages. I'm the first four and most. Here we go, guys. The Golden Games. You won't move. Yeah, I don't mind. It's time, it's time, man. I'm not crazy. The Golden Games. Six people were transported into another version of Earth, where the sun, where the sun never sets, yet through magic, the planet remains livable, like Earth. There was humans and animals and trees, and everything. Everything seemed the same, besides the fact that the sun was weaker and never stop. They all heard a voice in their head telling them to find the other five players and, and tag them. The voice said that with more time, you get more, you will be able to get more info as to how they got there and what was going on. The game was on, so I used ninja skills to climb up the project building, but was met with another player who was putting on a gun, but I ran at light speed to tag him to his pressure point, a skill learned through thousands of hours of ancient martial arts training. As we collected and realized that when he, when he Found when he found the saw when he first saw the player, his mind went haywire and naturally knew he was a player and got blasted with the Do it? No? Yeah, that's it all. Hold on, hold on, guys. Okay, bro, what's that? Go ahead. He was a player and got blasted with the insight that he signed up to go to his world and that he had a reason he entered. Suddenly the player appeared behind her and tagged him. The player ran away, but no one comes can escape as Ralph, as Ralph. He, as he, as he dashed at light speed and with his right hook, he took the guy's head off. That, that was a tap. I turned, I, I then learned that the last three survivors of the game would get a prize. After two minutes passed, they all heard a voice telling them that they had the last three remaining players and were allowed a wish. I was the first to demand that the game master Bring, bring back his two kids that died during an armed robbery. The voice replied to him to go home, and then he found himself in front of his home, his house. The door opened, and his two kids charged at him and hugged him. He was astonished. It was actually possible to bring the dead back to life. He watched, he watched them with his daughter. He watched them with his daughters and wife, who didn't seem to remember their four and year old children died. He got very curious and wanted to re-enter the game. This is the beginning of his adventure of entering the Golden Games. Okay, that's the first page. Page three. Wadi woke up in a hospital bed. He had no idea how he got there. He got up and felt no pain or had a hard time walking. When he tried to leave the room, he found that the door was locked so that he couldn't leave. Right then, he heard a voice in his head telling him that was that he was in the Golden Games and that for them to get their memories on how they got there, um, they had to complete objectives. So, you know, oh. Hold on, let me Yeah, I got the yucky one. What time? 
we need some time, we'll come on over. Like 20, 30 minutes, boys, well, 30 minutes. You need to get early with 30 minutes, so I can get Alright, guys, alright. The homie left, guys, so now I'm gonna read the rest. Let's see, what was that? Their memories of how, um, and that for them to get their memories of how they got there. A box telling you opened with three weapons a gun, a sword, and a set of pills called ISM. ISM pills, ISM. Wadi got curious and picked up the pills. The moment he picked up the box, he picked it up, the box closed shut. Wazi read the paper that came with it. It said that in a nutshell, it grants infinite power for one minute per pill, and that if you take five or more in less, in less, than, in less than 30 minutes, you will get sick. Wazi was very interested. The voice then told him that there are four players and only the last surviving person will win the prize. Wazi was nervous, but also excited. He put a pill in his mouth, but didn't swallow it. He explored the hospital for 10 minutes before his mind suddenly went haywire. Right then, he turned around and another player had their gun out. Had their gun out. Wazi already swallowed the pill right, right, right then, right when he felt the player's presence. The guy shot two rounds, point blank, but they missed. But that wasn't a lot, but, I, but that wasn't quite quite it. Wazi used the power of the ism pills to manipulate the Buddha's path, and Wazi simply flicked his finger and he, and he released an ism bomb right into the player's brain, causing him to drop dead. The voice said three players left. Wazi put another pill in his tongue and went to the roof to smoke a blunt that he had at home. But just as he got there, his mind went haywire. He took the pill and then went to the roof. He saw a dead he saw a dead and he saw a dead man and found a huge fire his way. He made a barrier of ism and flicked his fingers, but the player brushed it with his hands. At that at that point, Wazi realized that he took more than one ism pill. So Wazi um qu quickly put three more in his mouth and swallowed. He felt a massive amount of power flowing through him. He did a he did a TV thing. He did a TV thing and released a huge blast of lightning and fire and killed the last per the last player, making him the winner. He noticed he remembered his he remembered why he entered. Why he entered the game? Why he entered the and why he entered the going games? The game master appeared and asked him what his wish was. Why he answered with no hesitation that he wanted a pound of strong a strong weed and a kilo of pure cocaine. He woke up in his room with both with both the drugs, um, with both the drugs tucked in his arms. Why he was delighted. Now he could get high for for free and make big money. So yeah, that's the end, guys. I'm waiting for now. Basically, as wish was to bring back his two dead children that died in an armed robbery, and then Wazi, the second character, his wish was for a pound of some strong weed and a keto of cocaine. So now Wazi had a, strong, a pound of some strong weed to smoke whatever he wanted, and he had a whole kilo of cocaine for free that he could make money from. He got free work. So he got nothing, he won the game, he got nothing, he put no money, and now he has a kilo of cocaine, which is worth about five to ten thousand dollars where he could flip, and he can make probably like ten to even fifty grand off it if he, if he does it right. So yeah, that's, that's the preview of the Golden Game, the first four pages. There's more to go, but I won't read that for now. I'll have a preview. What's coming up now is Ed Part 2. And then in that, it's basically Ed's journey. It talks about Ed's life and how he's a ninja, how he was the, how he was the ninja mafia, a mafia of shinobis and ninjas and their enemies. And he's trying to find a way to get back in the Golden Games. And then later on, we talk about other characters. And then from there, the second part comes. Alright guys, so I'm going to say this real fast guys, basically, every single novel that I write are all short stories. They're all split up into two parts. Basically, the first, like, basically each part is anywhere between 8 to 10 pages max. I don't try to write more than 10 pages at a time. So basically, all my novels are about anywhere from 16, between 16 and 20 pages long. So you can read them real fast, so have fun with them, enjoy them, and you can read them whenever you want, and stuff. So yeah guys, that was the preview of my second novel, The Golden Games. What I'm thinking of doing maybe later, maybe tomorrow, is I'm going to read a preview of my main novel that I wrote, my first novel that I wrote, that I started in a psych war called Grimm's. I think I already read a bit of Grimm's, Grimm's War of the Gods, that's the first book. The second book is called Grimm's War of Rule. No, no, second, the second book is called Grimm's War, war of the Antichrist or War of something like that. Basically, it's about the, 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 the trilogy of Satan. 
they faced. And in the third book of Grimm, which is called Grimm's The War Rule, and rules the female lead character, she was going to be the, the strongest character and main character of the book Grimm's. She's the love interest of Ed, the main character. And all my novels, pretty much, the, the, all my novels always have like these three names. And every novel I ever write, the main characters will be Ed, Zone, and the female main character will be Rule. That's in every, every novel I write, always. So if you ever read my novels, you're always gonna see Ed, Zone, and Rule, and Wazi. Wazi might not be in every one, but Wazi will be in the majority of them. So yeah, guys, peace, guys, peace.